Venus is a fascinating planet with many unique features that distinguish it from other planets in our solar system. Its dense atmosphere, severe temperatures and peculiar rotation make it fascinating for scientific study and exploration. Being the second planet from the Sun, it is sometimes referred to as Earth's twin due to its size and density. However, there are significant variances between the two planets as revealed by NASA's first real images from Venus. This video covers all the basic facts about the planet, so stay tuned. Venus is a terrestrial planet with a rocky solid surface like Earth's. Its diameter of approximately 12,104 kilometers makes it smaller than Earth. With a typical distance of 108 million kilometers or 67 million miles, Venus circles the Sun at a distance at about 0.7 times that of Earth. The length of the Venusian year or the time of its orbit is 224.7 Earth days. Venus and Earth are separated by an average of 42 million kilometers, that's 26 million miles, and an average of 257 million kilometers as they orbit the Sun, 160 million miles. Venus has an average radius of 6,051.8 kilometers, that's 3,760.4 miles at a mass of 4.87-1024 kg or 81.5% of the Earth's mass at the equator. Typically, a person standing on Venus would weigh about 90% as much as they do on Earth due to their comparable surface gravity. Venus is more likely to be spherical than other planets. Its very slow spin allows it to maintain its fundamentally spherical shape. Venus has phases similar to the Moon as seen from Earth since its orbit is inside that of the planet. Galileo's discovery of these phases in 1610 was one of the most significant in astronomy history. The prevalent theory of the cosmos in Galileo's day was based on Ptolemy, a Greek astronomer who lived about 15 centuries previously and claimed that all celestial objects rotate around Earth. Venus's phases were seen and, although they were incongruous with this theory, they were in line with the theory put out by Polish scientist Nikolaus Copernicus that the Sun is the center of the solar system. The first observable evidence for the Copernican hypotheses came from Galileo's observation of Venus's phases. Venus is harsh in many respects, including being very hot and dry, so it seems unlikely that life as we know it could have evolved there. Amongst the planets in the solar system, Venus is outstanding for rotating in the opposite direction. This means its sun rises in the west and sets in the east, unlike Earth's. Venus is undoubtedly one of the brightest objects in the night sky, hence it is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, which is fitting. Before developing sophisticated astronomy tools, Venus's movements were watched and studied for millennia. It was one of the five planets recognized in antiquity along with Mercury, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. In 3000 BCE, the Babylonians who identified it with their goddess Ishtar kept astronomical records of its appearances. It is also prominently referenced in the astronomical records of other ancient civilizations, such as those in China, Central America, Egypt and Greece. Understanding how Venus's severe circumstances developed, which may offer valuable lessons about the causes of environmental change on Earth, is one of the scientists' main objectives in researching the planet. Venus mainly comprises carbon dioxide and has a thick layer of sulfuric acid clouds. These clouds cover the planet and make it difficult to observe its surface from space. It also has a powerful greenhouse effect, which causes the planet to trap heat and maintain its high surface temperatures. The Venusian greenhouse effect has been studied to better understand the more subtly significant role that greenhouse gases play in the atmosphere of Earth and the impacts of energy usage and other human activities on the planet's energy balance. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is also much higher than on Earth, making it difficult for spacecraft to land on its surface. Yet the sunlight that breaks through the clouds is absorbed in the surface and lower atmosphere. The energy is re-radiated at infrared wavelengths by the surface and the gases of the lower atmosphere, which are warmed by the absorbed light. Most of Earth's re-radiated infrared radiation escapes back into space, allowing Earth to keep its surface temperature relatively cold. On Venus, in contrast, 
A large portion of the infrared radiation is trapped by the planet's thick cloud layers and dense carbon dioxide atmosphere. The trapped radiation further warms the lower atmosphere, which causes the surface temperature to increase by hundreds of degrees. Venus was the first planet to be studied by a spaceship. NASA's Mariner 2 flew past and scanned the cloud-covered planet on December 14, 1962. Since then, several spacecraft from the United States and other countries have studied Venus, notably NASA's Magellan, which used radar to survey the planet's surface. The Soviet spacecraft achieved the most successful landings on Venus's surface so far. Still, they didn't last long, owing to the tremendous heat and crushing pressure. After colliding on the surface of Venus in 1978, an American probe, one of NASA's pioneer Venus multiprobes, survived for almost an hour. Recent Venus missions include the European Space Agency's Venus Express, which orbited the planet from 2006 to 2016, and Japan's Akatsuki Venus Climate Orbiter, which has been orbiting since 2016. The Parker Solar Probe of NASA has performed many flybys of Venus, in 2022, NASA stated that the spacecraft obtained its first visible light photographs of Venus's surface from space during its February 2021 flyby. Venus's surface comprises extensive volcanic features and mountains, including the planet's highest mountain, Maxwell Monte. This mountain is about 11 kilometers or 7 miles beyond the planet's mean radius. It is east of Ishtar's high plateau, Lakshmi Planum, and is a portion of the continent-sized highland known as Ishtar Terra. The area was previously called Maxwell after the British scientist James Clark Maxwell, whose description of the principles of electricity and magnetism is the foundation of radar. See Maxwell's equations. Later, radar scans from Earth and satellites confirmed its hilly character. New radar imaging reveals over 1,000 volcanic structures and signs of probable periodic resurfacing of the globe by lava flows. In addition, there is evidence of volcanism, such as an anomalous shift in the quantity of sulfur dioxide gas in the high atmosphere. Sulfur dioxide, crucial in volcanic outgassing, levels in the lower atmosphere and stays steady. This might indicate that a shift in the global atmosphere caused the sulfur dioxide content above the clouds to rise. While changes in the atmosphere may indicate that volcanoes erupted on Venus, it is impossible to verify whether or not this happened. The first concrete evidence of active volcanism was discovered in 2014, in the form of infrared flashes across the borders of the rift zone Ganis Chasma, near the shield volcano Sapus Mons. These flashes, which were seen for two or three consecutive Earth days in 2008 and 2009, are considered to be triggered by hot gases or lava released by volcanic eruptions. Venus's surface temperature is about 900 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 475 degrees Celsius, a temperature that is hot enough to melt lead. The surface has a reddish tint with tightly crushed mountains and hundreds of enormous volcanoes. Scientists believe four volcanoes, namely Mat Mons, Oza Mons, Sapas Mons and Idun Mons may be active. Three more expeditions to Venus were announced in 2021, two missions by NASA and one by the European Space Agency. NASA's Veritas, or Venus Emissivity Radio Science Topography, INSAR, and Spectroscopy will be the first NASA mission to study Venus since the 1990s. The spacecraft will launch in December 2027. It will circle the planet, collecting data to illustrate how Venus's and Earth's trajectories diverged and how Venus lost its livable potential. NASA's Da Vinci mission will drop a probe on the surface of Venus after investigating the top of the planet's atmosphere. During its hour-long fall, the investigation will gather hundreds of measurements and photograph the surface up close. If the probe survives the landing, it might yield several minutes of additional research. The European Space Agency has chosen Envision to conduct extensive observations of Venus. NASA is a crucial collaborator in the project, supplying the Synthetic Aperture Radar, or VENSAR, for high-resolution studies of the planet's surface characteristics. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.